Good afternoon, meteorologist is Jesse Kelly here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Saturday. A very nice afternoon so far. Although high and mid-level clouds begin to increase across the architecture right now, which will eventually lead to showers, which will eventually lead to some strong and severe thunderstorms as we go into your Sunday. We'll talk more about that in just a second. With temperatures very pleasant into the lower to middle 60s. Radar is pretty quiet for the most part, although there are some light shower <coughs> excuse me, some light showers. Off towards the north and west of Audubon. Other than that, things are quiet for right now. But we do have the disturbance over California and the desert southwest, which will provide the lift and the fuel we need to generate more showers and thunderstorms as we go into your Sunday. And the snow thunderstorms will be strong to severe, and all most of severe weather are at play as we go into your Sunday. Now, the Storm Prediction Center has. Uh, increases severe of the risk off towards the east, now looking at a moderate risk across the northeast Louisiana, even into the deep south. Main threats, all threats are possible. We can see damaging winds, we can see tornadoes, large hell, even see some heavy rain, which could lead to some flash flooding. And temperatures, again, are pretty mild, looking at 59 degrees in Mansfield, 65 degrees in Marshall, 64 degrees here in Shreveport. We're seeing temperatures into the upper 60s across Mount Pleasant and also into Mendem. So we're on to a few cast shows, a few light showers developing later on tonight, but some of these thunderstorms will be capable of maybe producing some large hail as we go into tonight. Those thunderstorms will be a part of round one. They'll all move off towards the north and east. The main disturbance in the main round will come through as we go into uh, Sunday mid to late morning to the afternoon hours. So we'll see some heating around, which will generate some showers and thunderstorms. So we'll see thunderstorms develop across east Texas around... 9 to 11 o'clock into the morning. Some of these thunderstorms here, especially south of Interstate 20, will be strong to severe. And again, almost as severe as they are at play. Then about 1, 2 o'clock, again, we can see thunderstorms here across Shreveport, Bossier, across uh, northwest Louisiana, even down towards Toledo Bend. Also, can see some additional thunderstorms popping up along the Interstate 30 corridor. So maybe with this first, maybe with the second round, we may not see as much rain across the Interstate 30 corridor, but this main round will move off towards the east as we go into Sunday evening. We'll see another area of thunderstorms develop across the Interstate 30 corridor as we go into Sunday evening around 5, 6 o'clock. Similar to what we saw last Sunday, these, some of these thunderstorms here can also produce some strong winds, maybe even seeing some large hail. But as soon as the sun sets, we expect neat thunderstorms that will develop will begin to fizzle, similar to what we saw last Sunday. Then we'll see a decrease in sky, so as we go into your Monday, we'll see more sunshine with temperatures back up into the middle 70s. So rainfall amounts between now and Monday. We can see an inch or two with some higher totals, especially south and east of Shreveport, where those thunderstorms will be strong to severe. But again, we could see multiple rounds of thunderstorms beginning tonight, with the main round moving through the area, which will pose as our best opportunity of seeing Showing severe thunderstorms as we go into Sunday morning, late morning to the uh, early parts of the afternoon. Then we could see a new area of showers and thunderstorms built across the Interstate 30 corridor, which will probably lead to some wind gusts and also you see some large hail. So we're going to take a look at some of the parameters. Here's a look at the tornado potential, excuse me. As we go into your Sunday, you can see as we go into Sunday afternoon how some of those thunderstorms, especially south and east of Shreveport, could be. Rotating, which could produce some tornadoes, especially towards the south and east of Shreveport. You see how those values do increase some more as we get closer to Alexandria and then off towards the east into Mississippi, Alabama, where we do have that moderate risk. But as we go into Sunday evening, so those new thunderstorms that develop across the Interstate 30 corridor could also maybe have the potential maybe rotating as well. We need to watch those thunderstorms carefully as we go into your Sunday night. And then for the hail potential, again, some of these thunderstorms we will see tonight could produce some small hail. Could see some bigger hail as we go into Sunday afternoon with some of the stronger thunderstorms, especially towards the south of Interstate 20. And then with that another uh, round of thunderstorms that will develop near Interstate 30 as we go into Sunday evening, those thunderstorms there could also produce some large hail. So we could see some damaging hailstones out there as we go into your Sunday. So just keep that in mind. But the good news is we'll see the rain come to an end as we go into your Monday. But that's not the only round of thunderstorms that we'll see this week. We'll see a new round of showers and thunderstorms. And these thunderstorms from Wednesday could also be strong to severe as we go into uh, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening. As of right now, still a little bit too early to say what we can expect. But again, there will be some strong to severe thunderstorms around for your Wednesday. They'll move off towards the east and we'll see a break in the rain for Thursday and Friday. 
and may see some showers begin to develop as we go into next Saturday, but as of right now, still some uncertainty on the forecast, at least as we go into next weekend, but all in all, we will need to watch the forecast carefully as we go into tonight, into Sunday, and also into next Wednesday. Tonight, though, we'll see temperatures falling down to the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow, we'll see temperatures up to the middle to upper 70s. We may see some 80s down towards Natchitoches. 77 degrees in Minden, 78 degrees here in Shreveport. We'll see a high around 75, 76 degrees in Tuesday, Circana. Your next seven days is looking pretty stormy for your Sunday. Take a break from Monday and Tuesday. More thunderstorms on Wednesday that could be strong to severe. Take a break for Thursday and Friday before we see possibly some more showers as we go into next Saturday. So again, looking very stormy for tonight into Sunday. Also for Wednesday. So again, as we go into the next couple of days for Sunday and also for Wednesday. Halfway receiving weather alerts. You can get those alerts by downloading our news app at architectshomepage.com. You can also have a weather radio and also turn on those emergency wireless alerts on your phone. So just have multiple ways of receiving weather warnings in case they're needed for your area as we go into your Sunday and again as we go into next Wednesday.